Hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 video. And in this one, I'm going to show you my melee build and why is it the best damage build right now after patch 5. Alright, so for those who usually watch me and check my guides, you probably know that I use this melee build for a very long time basically since the very start, since the release of the game. And I think that this is one of the strongest builds in game, and now more than ever, because explosive weapons have been nerfed and they no longer have the ability to do as much damage as before. You can't one-shot things anymore, and you know, you need to do a lot of things to make it work. As in do proper damage. But with melee, that's not the case. You just need a few perks and you're good to go. You can personalize your builds, you can do a lot of things and it will just work. But first, let's check some reasons of why you should use this build. There are many advantages of using these melee builds. And the first one for me is the damage. You simply can do so much damage with it. It's just crazy. And I think Bethesda will nerf it soon enough. The second reason is that you don't need ammo. And that's so amazing because when you are exploring, scavenging, looting, whatever, you don't need to be constantly looking for the ammo class for your weapon. Also, if you like to craft ammo or buy it from shops, vendors, you also don't need to do it anymore because you can just use your melee weapon and that's it. Then you don't need that much skill to hit with a melee weapon. You barely need any aim, you just have to aim for it because enemies are generally in front of you, not behind you, right? So you just have to hit in front and that's it. You also get heavy attacks with melee weapons and they do crazy amounts of damage. Yes, even more. Uh, well, the bad part, let's say, is that you can take extra damage from enemies while you are trying to heavy attack, but if you actually land it, it's so worth it. Now, repairing your melee weapon is generally easy, especially for super uh, sledges, the one I'm using. And I think it's actually much cheaper than weapons in general. And of course, it's also quite easy to get one. You can get it through quests. For example, the All Rise is a very good weapon. You get it from missions and you can get uh, melee weapons from legendaries as well. So the one I'm using it's a 3-star legendary weapon and I got it from farming super mutants. And these are the main reasons of why you should use these builds. But enough of it, let's get into the actual builds and perks. So, are you ready to do tons and tons of damage? I hope you are. So starting with strength, you should max it out with 15 points. And the first perk I have is Pain Train, which damages and staggers enemies by sprinting into them with the power armor. So if you use the power armor a lot, this is a great perk to max. If you are like me, sometimes you use it, sometimes you just go with your normal armor, then just leave it at one or two points and that's fine. Then I'm using Incisor, which decreases your enemy's uh, armor by 75% if you max it out. And this is a very, very crucial perk if you are using a melee, because you will basically crush uh, the armor and make more damage. So against super mutants or insects, this is very, very good. The third one is Martial Artist and it decreases the weight of your melee weapon and it allows you to swing 30% faster if you max it out. And that means you can do more damage in the same amount of time. So yes, get it and max it out. Then I have Expert Slugger and Slugger. Together they increase my damage by 40%. That's a lot, so please get them both for that extra damage. 
but you need to make sure that you are using a two-hand weapon, otherwise it won't increase your damage. Then I have two perks to make my inventory a little bigger, like Strong Pack 1 and Traveling Pharmacy 1, because I normally carry a lot of cams with me, and that helps not being over-encumbered. Now on Perception, it doesn't really matter for this build, I have 4 points and I mostly have uh, the Pick Lock skills and Fortune Finder for when I'm farming caps, so you can choose whatever you find best for your playstyle. Then on Endurance, the only perk that matters is Solar Powered, which increases your strength and endurance during the day, so that's very very nice. Normally because I play during the day, sometimes during the night, but it does help, so get it. Moving to Charisma, I have Lone Wanderer because I usually play alone and this gives some nice benefits. I would recommend you to get it if you play alone as well. Then I have Travel Agent because I travel between many different locations, especially for farming and it makes things cheaper and hard bargain because I also sell to vendors all the time every day and that makes things a lot easier as well. On intelligence I have it maxed out too because I have the hacking skills and the only perk that matters for the build is this one, a makeshift warrior that allows your weapon to break slower. If you max it out, it's 50% slower, it's a huge difference, so I recommend you getting it. You also can craft advanced weapons in your crafting station. And as for the other perks, you don't have to get any of them. It's a personal preference for me, because I have uh, an explosive shotgun as well, and I have an explosive uh, perk in intelligence too. Then on agility, we have two very important perks. The first one is Adrenaline and I have it only at level 2. I intend to get it up a little bit in the future and this perk allows you to do more and more damage as you kill more enemies within 30 seconds. So you can stack it up to 42% at level 2 and that's already quite great. The second perk is called Ninja and it allows you to do sneak attacks and perform three times more damage if you are successful and that's really a lot of damage you can basically one hit everything if you manage to trigger this perk last but not least we have bloody mess which gives you a 15 percent more damage and enemies can explode when you kill them it's a bloody mess but yes this actually helps a lot so max it out and then, if you have mutations like I do, and you need one for this specific build, you need to have Starch Genes, the perk, to make sure you don't lose your mutations when you go on your radiation shower, or take radaways, and so on. And well, to make things more interesting, you should get Twisted Muscles, the mutation. Why? Because you simply get way more damage. Now everywhere, like Wikipedia says, the base damage for this mutation is 25%, but I have 37 for some reason, I'm not sure why, but this is what I had a few hours ago, with no champs or boosts, just my perks and the mutation. If you are curious about my weapon, here it is. It's a legendary 3 stars, and... It's basically the same damage as the All Rise, which is very good, but I sold it by accident to a vendor before. Oopsie. And this one is actually nice, and I modded it a little bit to give me extra damage. And as you can see, the stats are very good as well. I basically get double damage when enemies are below half HP, so that's grand. Okay, so I think I'm done with the explaining and perks and everything. So let's move on to some actual testing of the damage. And I had it to the spawned, where normally a behemoth is. And I went all the way around him to make sure he didn't spot me. And I wanted to test my sneak attack with the three times more damage perk. 
Because that doesn't always work if you have enemies that are looking at you. But in this case, it worked and look, one hit and he's off HP. I'm trying to hit his weak points and that's it. Like, I killed him before he even got up off the lake. That's quite impressive because I'm not using any boosts or anything else than my perks and this weapon and the mutation. But that's not enough, so let's go to West Tech because this is one of the most difficult places to solo and farm, at least in my opinion. And I tried again to do a few sneak attacks and then to try and kill as many enemies as possible and out of the power armor because power armor makes things super easy and well, one hit straight away that mutant but as i was saying i'm doing this out of the power armor on purpose i am challenging myself so this means that you'll be able to do a much much better than me if you use your power armor and one hit again and yes i'm one hitting everything and as you can see they are super high level and this guy don't let him come close to you. You will probably die to the bomb if you do. So no matter how much you love your melee builds, always have a ranged weapon with you for things like suicide men approaching you. It's always handy. And for this, I have a lot of steam packs with me because I figured I would need them if I'm going to face check Super mutants like this. Okay, so I'm not one hitting them now because my um, agility perk that stacks is not anywhere near max right now. But I'm slowly doing more and more damage as I kill them. And that's why I want to max it. I think it's so useful that perk. But I'm basically one hitting them. If you see the health bars when I don't one hit, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left. So if I use a boost, for example, I would one hit everything with or without the agility perk. So that's also something good for you to know. Moving forward, I need more enemies to kill. And I haven't been using my heavy attack, so with that one, I don't have a single doubt that I can hit uh, one hit everything with the heavy attacks. But these guys are not dying in one hit because they are very, very high level and super armored as well. But I'm doing pretty good. I mean, if I am in the power armor as usually, I just do this easy, you know? I go around, I want to hit everything and I barely take damage. Because that's the purpose of a power armor, right? Don't forget to block their attacks as well, if they are trying to melee hit you. And you can swing so fast with this build. So you just have to move around to try and dodge their attacks. And weapon fire too, you can dodge most of it by walking around side by side but here as you can see this is a normal attack and this is a heavy attack it's quite different and it's double the time which means if i do heavy attacks i'm probably going to die because i have to stand still anyway i actually died for real in here because i wasn't paying attention to my hp but that's fine it happens and if you are going to do this to play without your power armor, then you can expect to die a few times. 
because you know they do a lot of damage and even if you do a lot of damage like when hitting them they still can take you down pretty easy that's how the game works at least in west tech but it's impressive how i do so much damage to these 68 super armored mutants just keep in mind, I'm doing normal attacks. They are not heavy attacks. If you use a buff in here, you will one-hit everything with basic attacks. That's, uh, wow, you know? Then I went inside and for some reason my sneak attack didn't register here. But then it did, even though he was looking at me. So the bugs are real in this game. Just a disclaimer in case you didn't know. Being sarcastic right now. So I think when I max the agility perk, I will be able to one hit everything if I keep killing them. But right now, it's not enough to one-hit everything, but it's very, very close. And that's totally fine with me. So I was just testing, that's why I'm not using anything else. But when I'm in my power armor, I use buffs and it's one hit. You know, it's just like that. No science. It's, it's a quite brain-dead strategy, but the game allows this. It's not an exploit or anything, it's just a build. You put these perks together with the mutation and some buffs, and that's what you get. It's so satisfying when the sneak works. And the bloody mess is also so nice to watch. But I think this is enough to give you a pretty good idea of what you can do with this build. And if you're wondering what you need to repair this weapon, it's basically duct tape, steel scrap, and two other things, but they are very easy to farm. And you can also use the perk to make your weapon uh, with higher durability. And that's perfect. So that's going to be all for me. I am Marta Branco. Thank you for watching. And I hope you're happy now that I have shared my melee uh, build with you. I had so many people asking me to do this. And honestly, I didn't check anyone's build. I just did this myself. And I have been tweaking and personalizing to my needs as time goes by. And this is what I have right now, but it will probably change uh, in the following weeks because I'm changing it a lot depending on what I need. For example, uh, inventory space, I switch it a lot uh, on strength with, for example, in Caesar, I change it for um, a maxed backpack to have 40 more carry weight because I'm just like that. I carry a lot of things and I need space. So I do sacrifice damage uh, for inventory space when I need it, but other than that, this is what I have been using and it works wonders. So feel free to use it and enjoy the game and do more damage, kill everything. And well, let's hope Bethesda doesn't nerf it so soon or we will have no builds left, right? What are we going to use next if they do? If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!